everyone, welcome to this Tech Tuesday from t-rave.com and this week I'm going over the Blue Icicle. Now the Blue Icicle is a microphone to USB adapter and what basically it is torn down even simpler than that is it's an XLR on the bottom that takes it into USB. Now this is put out like I said from Blue and they are known to be putting out a lot of USB microphones onto the consumer market. Um, one of the latest being the Yeti, which is a THX certified microphone that I'd actually really like to test out. Um, but today is this one. Now, where all their other microphones, uh, sub $100, uh, sub $200, um, mostly what it, I mean, what they are is a USB to your computer uh, microphone. Uh, if you don't want to go out and buy like all the accessories slash you know just all the gear to really hook into your computer, um, they make it easy for you. Um, with this, they just take it another step further and say, hey, maybe you already have your own microphone. Uh, maybe you know whatever. Maybe you have your collection. We want to make it easy on you putting this into the computer. Now, this device runs anywhere from $50 to $60 retail. Um, I got this off Amazon for $35, brand new. And so I was very pleased with that price. Even the higher up price, I think, is a really good deal for what you're getting. The packaging isn't much. It is just this plastic, and you just you know tear it open. And the actual device is this right here. Now, in the back, whoop, I dropped the USB cable. It, it, it does come with a USB cable. Um, what's nice about this device is, one, it has a two-year warranty on it, which is pretty cool. Um, it is PC and Mac uh, compatible. And on both systems, it is completely driverless. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't need a driver. Basically, it is the ultimate plug and play, um, plug and get going device. Um, it is made out of plastic for the most part. Um, there's a little bit of metal down here by the XLR adapter. This knob right here is just a volume control. And yeah, it's very straightforward. Anyone that buys this, whether they be you know just starting out or pro, can really get their hands on this and start using it in no time with your favorite audio program. Um, there are several out there. Audacity is a free one. Now when you plug it into the computer, like I said, on Mac it's really easy and on PC, I mean, they make it just, you select the mic as your main thing and it goes. Now when you plug it in, it does light up blue if you can see that. It's very faint, um, but it lights up to let you know it's on, and then you just select it in your sound preferences. Now, hooking in the microphone cable is very simple as well. You just take the end and you just put it on there. Um, nothing to it. Like I said, it's very easy. Um, another awesome feature about this is you can use dynamic mics or condenser. Now, if you um, do have your own microphones around, you probably have heard this before, uh, or you already know this. Dynamic doesn't need any power, but condensers do, and they need phantom power, 48 volts. And so, whether you have this, this is just a really cheap, like, $10 microphone, um, and this is a condenser. So this is a dynamic and this is a condenser, you can use either one of them. Now, you don't really, you don't have control over the 48 volt phantom power. Um, so, I would not suggest if you have a ribbon mic to put it on this device because it could blow the ribbon in there. You don't have to supply it with, you don't need to supply ribbon uh, microphones with that. You will damage it. So, anyways, it's very straightforward, like I said. Um, I like it because it is straight out of the box, you get moving, it takes what you may already have and really, you know, makes it usable really quickly. Um, some of the downfalls of it, when I bought this, I was really hoping um, that I could maybe throw it in some kind of packing, packaging or uh, <laughs> sleeve or something and throw it in a backpack and definitely use this anywhere I go. Now you can do that, but I will say that it's a limb. It's not the most sturdy device. You're not going to be running around um, thinking this is just road gear. Um, 
obviously this is built for the studio and basically you set it up, kind of set it right there. Another thing is it's kind of long um, and I can't blame them for that. That It's doing the converting, you know, it's going from XLR into USB. So that's not really a big complaint, but it is kind of long. Again, going back to you don't want to just take this anywhere because um, it does have that possibility of breaking. Um, another thing is it does use the smaller USB um, found on, well, not the latest phones, but you know, the normal USB that cameras come with and it, that's a pro and con in my book. Uh, pro because it's readily available, you can find them if you, if you run to someone's house and you're like, oh crap, I forgot my cable, and they're like, oh, I have a digital camera, you can plug it in. However, when you plug it in, it's solid, but like, I personally would like the slightly uh, bigger USB. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, it's solid, but the, the ones like you find on printers or on scanners, I just think that would pr probably give it a little bit more like security in my mind. And then finally, the last con, um, it does not have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Um, some of the devices coming out, they have it where you can plug it in and it's zero latency so you can basically hear what's going on like right away. Now, I really don't count that as, that's not a selling point at all. Um, I knew that it didn't have it and really, I mean, that's just another thing to plug into this. And so it's not that big of a deal. Um, you, you can monitor out of your laptop or your computer. Now, it does come with a pretty good... Uh, lengthy USB and then with XLR usually you're gonna be around 10 to 20 feet if you're in the studio so you can definitely stretch this out and uh, if you wanted to put your voice talent in a closet and have this plugged into a computer elsewhere it would um, definitely suit that now I tried this with both my dynamic my cheap dynamic and my condenser which is a CAD C195 um, condenser condenser mic, um, and both turned out pretty well. Um, I actually did, I looked up a little bit on the CAD, and a lot of people say it's a little bit better for female voices, which I do not have, <laughs> but that's not on this device. Both, like I said, both sounded pretty good. Um, and here soon I will be doing some tutorials. Uh, the reason why I bought this is because my headset that I use for tutorials broke, and so I needed some kind of microphone input obviously and so I said well I have the microphones I'll just uh, buy this and it is definitely from what I've done so far it is an excellent buy it is cheap if you have microphones around definitely check this out there are a few other brands I know sure makes one XL, uh, XLR nope sorry MXL I'm saying that wrong, I think. Uh, maybe it's MXL. Um, they also make one about a comparable price, but I've been told that it kind of picks up more noise. Um, Blue has a record with USB devices. This one stands up to it. I really highly suggest it if you do have your microphones and you're looking to do podcasting or audio recording of some sort. So, this has been my little review slash informative video over the Blue Icicle.